In this video we're going to be having a look at a problem involving finding stationary points or curves. So the question says the curve y equals 4x squared plus 8 over x plus 5 has a stationary point. So before I read on, I know pretty much for certain that I'm going to have to differentiate that expression. It's talking about stationary points, so at this point I know that to get some marks I can differentiate it, then set it equal to 0 because the gradient of a stationary point the value of dy by dx, that is, is equal to zero at a stationary point. So it says find the value of the positive constant a, given that the y coordinate of the stationary point is 32. Okay, so let's first of all get some marks for differentiating. So we've got that y equals that, but it's not in a differentiable form yet. I see that it's got a over x. This needs to be written in index form before we can differentiate it. So y equals... 4x squared plus, so a over x can be written as ax to the minus 1 plus 5. And that means that implies that dy by dx equals 8x take ax to the minus 2. So I've multiplied by minus 1, I've multiplied by the power, then took 1 from the power, then the plus 5 differentiates to zero and we know that that's the differential and the differential is equal to zero the stationary point now this form here is absolutely fantastic for differentiating index form however it's absolutely lousy for solving equations so now it will help to write it back in normal fraction form 8x minus a over x squared equals zero. So I notice at this point that I can times by x squared to get rid of the denominator and massively simplify things. So that implies that, so times everything by x squared, I get 8x cubed, take away a equals zero, which means that a equals 8x cubed. So if the y coordinate is 32, and a at the stationary point is 8x cubed. I can sub those bits of information into the original equation. So that means that 32 equals 4x squared plus, and we know that a is 8x cubed, so 8x cubed over x plus 5. Now if I times everything by x, I get. 32x equals 4x cubed plus 8x cubed plus 5x. And this in turn, taking all the x's to one side. So if I take 32x, I get 0 equals 12x cubed minus 27x. means that now 0 equals, and if I factorise x, 12x squared, minus 27, which means that x equals 0, or 12x squared, minus 27, equals 0. So taking this 12x squared, minus 27, equals 0, that means that 12x squared equals 27, Simplifying, dividing both sides by 3, I get 4x squared equals 9, which means that x squared equals 9 over 4, therefore x equals plus or minus 3 over 2. And we'll try to find the value of the constant a, so if x is plus or minus 3 over 2, means a equals 8x cubed, and we have that bit of information here, a equals 8x cubed, and if x is plus or minus 3 over 2, it's told me that a is a positive constant, so in order to get the positive value, I need to sub in the, uh, the positive 3 over 2, so 3 over 2 cubed, 
which is equal to 8 times 27 over 2 cubed over 8. Therefore, A equals 27. So quite a complicated question, but one very much worth doing. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.